I've really changed what I look for in a director. Well, well genius is never a bad thing. Um, uh, genius what? Genius, the vision for the world? Vision, 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 genius yeah. Genius dealing with an actress and... Knowing what to say, knowing when to say it. I said to Pip recently, I said, the reason why you've been such a marvelous director is, first of all, you've treated every one of us with such respect. Um, and it never felt like he was pandering, ever. So that's innate to his personality. Um, he knows, how, a director who inspires and knows what to say and when to say it. And words are so important. So, uh, I mean, to think that they direct Harry Potter in, in Japanese and they're going through an interpreter, oh my gosh, how do they do that? Because one word means something to one person and another word, you know. Um, and I've learned to be patient with directors because a, a director only has words. And, and I have to, uh, Rosemary Dunsmore taught me something. She, she said, it's not up to a director to speak your language. So you can, you must translate in a way that makes sense for you. And you mustn't insist that he or she speak your language. That was very valuable to me. That's good. So you don't inflict your uh, way of working on them. And Nancy Park, I'm sorry to give these names, but these, I'm so inspired by my, my colleagues. Now, this is a bit cheeky, but she said, you know, you can say yes to a director. And I'm not saying you say yes and ignore it. That's not what she's saying. She's saying, yes, can I allow that to percolate? Or, you know, so that you don't obligate yourself to produce the result right away. Because that's something I would do. I would undermine myself and go, but the thing is to go, can I just think on that? So that you allow it to build on the work you're doing and not undermine the work you've already done. One of my favorite notes I got was from the great Richard Cottrell, who uh, was a British director who's directed in Canada a few times and th then had a career in Australia. On day four of, of um, the Indian Inc., another Tom Stoppard play, he said, Fiona, I don't know what you've, characters you've been playing, but he said, this woman is Flora Crew. She's 34 years old. She's wild, romantic, sexy. She's um, a poetess. She's an adventuress. I'm getting brittle, sort of Lady Bracknell British from you. I don't know what you've been doing lately, what parts you've been playing, but this is not who she is. This is day four of rehearsal. So my first thought is I'm going to be fired. I always think I'm going to be fired. Or I try to fire the director sometimes. Like, I can't work with him. You know, because what, what, what makes a director unhelpful, I'll tell you in a second. But, but, um, but I went to bed that night, you know, with the, with the script under my pillow and just going, I have to completely revolutionize my approach to this. And then sort of go through a week of not knowing and then thinking, oh, I must be okay because he's not saying anything. But that note I found so dynamic because it was one of those notes that could have either killed me or made me wake up the next day and go, you've got to do this. He believes in you. He just says you're not doing it yet.